Well, you put some of the names are on there twice. Somebody moved that bag yes. when he moved the bag. Yeah, we're going to need to open up some chairs. So, this is the people that we have going. All right, cool. It's, it's good to know, you know? So, she's going to get them. She's going to lay them and smack it down. Yeah. <laughs> I like her. That's, what's up. That's our treasure. That's <laughs> there. I got so that's that's who we currently have guys. Actually, that's probably everybody that we have going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did count on us twice. All right. Um, as far as the horseshoes go, pretty much these are all the alternate people that will probably be filling in for you to still bridge. So, uh, not sure of any. But also the environmental probably, like I said, we'll get out there with coffee strainers and all that fun stuff. See what water looks like when it comes out black and it goes in black. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's who we got going. Uh, back to where it was. Um, okay, one of the other things for the OBRC our uh, hotel room situation. Me and uh, Melissa were looking online last night and got uh, two hotel rooms. Set up. Just two. Well, not well. Two hotels. Oh. Um, we have the Boardman Inn, which is uh, it costs about four hundred fifty dollars plus tax. It ends up being like a straight shot right to YSU. Um, the other one, which I'm, I'm really hoping for, is the Quality Inn, which is in Liberty. It has an indoor heated pool, which. I don't know, a lot of you guys are probably insomniacs just like me. Maybe not. You guys go swimming. Has a Mexican restaurant inside the hotel, too. With bar. Really good margaritas, apparently. So, for all you. Uh, according to a close source. Yeah, according to <laughs> Dell's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, the, the Boardman Inn is $450 plus tax. Um, the quality in, it turns out, it, I don't know if anybody here is AAA member. Yeah. Are you a AAA member? Yeah. You are a godsend. <laughs> it ends up being $383 for five rooms. Awesome. If not, it's $425 for five rooms, which is either either way is cheaper than Boardman Inn. Yeah. It's not, these awesome. ain't the same hotels that everybody else is staying in, which I'm fine with that because I don't mind sleeping when everybody else is partying because, well, I'll be up there anyway, it don't matter. <laughs> I'm the DD. <laughs> So, but I, I, we're gonna put the vote up to either Boardman Inn or Quality Inn. Boardman Inn is like pretty much a motel. You have to walk outside to go into your room. For this one, you're actually inside to go into your room. Probably have those nice little slide cards and all that stuff. The other one, you probably got key. But so, if you guys want to put like a vote up for the Quality Inn or the Boardman Inn. Well, let's put it this way: expensive, cheaper. Like I said, if we get the AAA membership, which. Tom, that's really it sweet. Pool, dude. And like, it has a pool. And it has a bar. This is so quality, You guys yeah. should sit there, sip your margaritas that's in the hot tub, probably. <laughs> it warms up the blood. You get drunk. It's it. really not a big of a difference. It's a nice one. Right? Exactly. So I think that puts aside that we will do the quality in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so that, that uh, those prices are with five rooms. Um, that's what we put in the report to get our money is we put five rooms in and that's putting four people per room which we ain't going to tell them that there's two beds two people will sleep on the floor maybe you'll rotate every other night um thing about the hotel rooms i know some people probably i don't know if everybody's comfortable with sleeping with four people in a room i am i don't care like yeah, i said that's you're sleeping andrew's bringing probably an air mattress i don't know if you all have air mattresses if you guys want your own special Snuggle bear, whatever the hell you guys need, it's perfectly fine. I don't need to see it. Yeah, they're, they're, it's two, it's two uh, queen size beds in each room. So there's a little bit less of a homophobia thing with two chicks, though. I guess. Apparently. I ain't going there either. And, uh, so the hotel rooms. If you guys want your own hotel room, that's fine. The thing is, is we might be able to get you on our. Uh, Sorry, inappropriate. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> we, we might be able to get to, if, if you guys want your own hotel room, which uh, a couple people have already came up and talked to me about that, you'll have to pay for it yourself because, like I said, we only have funding for the rooms that we have funding for. But we might be able to get you under, like, our 
like party reservation, so it'll be cheaper for everybody. So we'll just we'll go and pay for it, but you'll have to front your own money for it, and there would be no really no refunds for your own separate hotel room. So either put up or shut up, pretty much. That's how that's going. So that's the whole hotel room situation. If anybody wants to come to me after that and discuss or whatever, that's up to y'all. I don't care who anybody's sleeping with, there will be guys in guys' rooms and girls in girls' rooms. There is no intermingling going on. I don't want to see this. Remember, I'm in charge and it all falls on me. <laughs> so, and yes. when it doesn't fall on him, it's If you end up sleeping on the YSU <laughs> campus, no. all the power to you. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, hotel rooms are gender based. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Room. Uh, you pay for that on your own. And <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, and also the whole thing is, is pretty much the money spent. Like if you got like a taxi cab, which I don't think you'll need because they're bars right outside your doors, pretty much. But if you need like those like type of expenses, like taxi cabs, if you get receipts, we'll probably be able to refund you for those if we got the money available. Got funded. But like those, if you guys are doing late night phone calls for situations. That's not on us. Yeah, like That's all that you brought that up. Yeah, the one night phone calls don't count. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right? So exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's now, where that don't is. Please turn any receipts in for condoms. So those don't count. Pay per view. That's that's on your credit card. So. I think I think every single room has its own cable, but I don't know if they have the night nurses or anything like that for you. Uh, just to show, like, this is all out. on TV, you know. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> mom. Hey, just to show, this, <laughs> uh, ladies, just to show you that I'm not biased on any point because I said that it was a remark about condoms. Well, the phone doesn't work either. That's not refundable either. So, <laughs> period. I'm ending that. Uh, going down the list, um, last minute signups. I've talked to Jeff about it. Um, or sixty dollars per person since we already signed up everybody that is going like I said this list if there's people that want to go the sixty dollar sign up is for pretty much your meals and everything and uh, if you're there's last minute ones you'll probably have to pay for the sixty dollars from what me and Jeff were talking about because that we don't have that funding anymore it's already we already paid for everybody and the sixty dollars is it's an extra twenty dollars tacked on which you could just go up and say here's sixty dollars I'm here with Stark State and then you're able to participate in any event and all that stuff. So I don't know if there's anybody that has late sign-ups that want to participate, but I think you'll have to front that because, like I said, funding is limited. Um, the last thing I got is a meeting place, one where in time. Um, we will have a meeting next week. On March 27th. The week after. Yeah, not yet. The week after. Next week. Yeah, next week. My house. <laughs> oh, well, that's the weekend. That's the weekend. The weekend. Depending on weather. Well, we, we'll, we'll go through those tents over the pits, kerosene heaters, and we'll get Catch the woods on fire. We'll be warm. We got a bar. Hey, we got a garage that needs to go off. I got a bar that's outside. Alright, so, but, um, does anybody else want their own room? Anybody? Anybody? Me. Just you? Really? <laughs> okay. Me and Tom are paying for our own room, probably. And we're saying if we can get, like, four people, or a room would be paid for us, and then we just split apart, and we get half that money for us, and half that money for your group, to pay for your room, hotel room, you know, so it's cheaper. Exactly. How's that work out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nope. Instead of me and Tom, four, two other people staying in the room, we just split apart, take, you know, whatever funding you have for our oh, you're room, saying. room, we split oh. apart, we get our two, our own room. And we're pitching own. the extra money. And we can have girls all night with you. Basically. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch is like, it is why it's you. <laughs> you just want to night nurses, don't you? <laughs> I, 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 Apparently, you think there's no sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah, Dell's daughter told me. <laughs> <laughs>